the deadly effect of snoring and it's not sleep apnea. People who snore but pass the sleep apnea test are most often just written off as suffering an annoyance. This is however far from true according to a new study published in the Journal of International Medical Research. In fact, snoring alone may even be more life-threatening than sleep apnea. Researchers had 181 people undergo a polysomnographic sleep assessment for one night, which included an analysis of their levels of sleep apnea and snoring. They measured their blood pressure when they woke up and again 15 minutes after waking. Those on blood pressure medication or with a blood pressure score of 140 90ths of a millimeter of mercury and upwards were classified as hypertensive. Unsurprisingly, they found that people with sleep apnea were likely to have high blood pressure. But they discovered that snoring alone was an even stronger predictor of hypertension than sleep apnea was. In other words, snorers without sleep apnea are even more likely than sleep apnea sufferers to have high blood pressure. The reason why snoring is a blood pressure risk is the same as for sleep apnea. As common as snoring is, it is not a normal breathing pattern. It is a warning that there is an obstruction in your air passages that are meant to allow enough oxygen into your body. It may not involve pauses in breathing, like sleep apnea does, but it still means that too little air is getting into your body. Fortunately there is a simple way to cure snoring permanently. The easy throat, jaw and tongue exercises, found here, strengthen the muscles around your breathing passages, keeping them open day and night, therefore permanently curing your snoring. Click below for more information now.